This is the East Ward Update. I'm Councilmember Derwin L. Montgomery. Leave your Facebook comments and questions below and we'll respond. The City of Winston-Salem's current budget is $482.2 million. That's what it takes to provide services to our 242,000 residents. I'm joined by the City Manager, Lee Garrity, to discuss where the money comes from and the services we provide. Lee, it is great to have you um, to talk about the fact that the City of Winston-Salem, in all respects and purposes, is a large business operation. Um, it provides services uh, to over 240,000 individuals. Uh, it has several departments and divisions, um, thousands of individuals uh, that come to work every day uh, to provide some type of services, um, and that doesn't even include the individuals that we contract with to provide services to the City of Winston-Salem. So what is the City of Winston-Salem when it comes to the services provided, and how much does it cost to run city government? You saw that number, Council for Government, of $482 million. Uh, that's the annual but total budget for the City of Winston-Salem. About a third of that comes from fees, primarily water and sewer fees you pay. A third of it comes from property taxes, and the rest from sales tax and other miscellaneous fees. But uh, primarily it's those uh, service fees for water and sewer and property taxes that, that run the City of Winston-Salem. So what, what are the largest uh, areas of expenditures when we look at city government? Right. Um, about 45% about of city government is what we call environmental health. So that's sanitation, water and sewer. There's well over a thousand employees that make sure that um, your trash gets picked up, that your, when you turn on the tap, the water's clean. That's about 40%. And then about 30% about of, of our Cost is for public safety, police and fire. There are 1,100 employees uh, who work in police and fire. So those two areas make up 85% um, of city government. So that, that's a large chunk of, of city government that's, yeah. that's people-based. People-based. Um, and, and understanding that service, uh, that, that's nothing that a computer can do. No. Uh, that you need people for right. that. Right. I always tell, in orientation, I tell employees that, you know, we don't make a product to see Winston-Salem other than making sure the water is clean, we don't make a product. So most of our costs, two-thirds of our costs, are people costs, either salaries or benefits or related costs for people. And so outside of uh, the, the sanitation, water and sewer, and then we look at public safety, what else does the city of Winston-Salem do? We're a full-service city. Uh, in most cities in North Carolina, we're incorporated to provide that higher level of urban services. So everything from building inspections, make sure when you build your house that it's safe, uh, uh, housing and code enforcement, we want to make sure that uh, your neighborhood is safe and the housing in your neighborhood is up to the standards we require. Uh, that's a big part of city government. And then making sure, another one is transportation, parking and streets. We always hear about that, but making sure that the streets are paved and the si traffic signals work, that's a, big, that's a big part of city government as well. Now, we do not directly uh, provide our our, our central public transportation system. We outsource that service. We pay for it, uh, but we outsource mm -hmm. that right. service. Um, under North Carolina law, uh, cities are not allowed to enter into a contract with the union. Our bus service has been uh, unionized forever. Uh, so what we do in the city of Winston-Salem is we contract with a large national company, actually international company, who manages bus services. We contract with them to manage the bus system and they enter into the contract with, with the employees. However, we pay all the bills. So even though it's a separate company, we pay all the bills. So what does it take to run that kind of transportation system? That's $20 million um, to run that kind of transportation system. That's just the base budget for um, running the buses and transaid. And then you got the additional costs, capital costs associated with uh, facilities and buses, et cetera. But it's, it's expensive to run the bus system. Yeah. So if, if we have um, these, these departments within in city government, um, we outsource uh, some components of what we do. Uh, there's another um, component of, of what the city provides, and that's parks and recreations. Uh, mm -hmm. Why do we do that? Uh, we do that because we want to have a great place for to live, work, and play. And uh, part of that whole economic development attraction is you have a community where people can relax, uh, they have open space they can enjoy. Uh, you can't compete as a major city unless you've got quality parks and recreation. So we invest a lot in our parks, our greenways, our recreation centers, our pools. 
to make sure that you have that full service of amenities for and citizens to enjoy. So if we have uh, taxes and fees in place for uh, creating revenue, uh, how is it that we can have moments in times where uh, there's a difference between uh, the revenue we have, knowing what kind of services right. we provide? Uh, the challenge is you know, just a normal uh, growth in government just from the cost of cost of living, cost of doing business, you know, utility prices go up. We spend quite a bit of money each year on streetlights. Just the normal cost of go doing business in government probably goes up 2.5% a year. And if, you're, if your revenues aren't growing that much, uh, particularly on the property tax side, if there's not enough new construction uh, each year, that's where you get that kind of gap or that t kind of difficulty between revenues and expenses. Right. So when we think about uh, budgeting or city standpoint, it's just like a household budgeting. Uh, if you make the same amount of money year over year, uh, but um, you see that the cost of eggs go up, the cost of milk goes up, the cost to put gas in your car goes up, um, you'll see that in some places you'll have a difference in what you're bringing in. Right. And similarly, so that's the same thing that happens exactly within city the same government. Thing. Um, uh, but at the end of the day, we have great staff like yourself and others who work every day to try to figure out these challenges to ensure that we have high level of services uh, that are continued to, to being offered to our, our citizens at the same time being able to be good stewards of, of, of the taxpayer dollars. We want to uh, attract people here and have a low cost of taxes and a, and a great high level of service. Yep, so uh, city government does a lot. Um, there's a lot on the shoulders of all of the men and women who come to work for, for city government every day. Um, and uh, there's a, a big price tag that, that goes in to provide Absolutely. these services. And I'm always one who states that um, if community can see the benefit um, of their taxpayer dollars, uh, that it makes a difference in how they feel about it uh, when, when, when they have to write that check or when they uh, see their taxes and their tax bill, it makes a difference when they can feel like those taxes are making a difference really in does. what's going on. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Garrity, uh, in, in comparison to, to other uh, cities or even just other businesses, I think the city of Winston-Salem, with the number of employees, the type of divisions and departments that we have, uh, we would be a, a, a pretty nice size uh, corporation. We would. Yes, we would. Yeah. And so uh, you, you'd be a, a, a high-paid CEO. <laughs> uh, it's, you'd be a high-paid board of director, too. Well, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> neither one of those are true this today. This is true. <laughs> uh, but, but the fact of the matter is, is that there, there are things that, that we want to make sure that the public understands, and, and that is that there are um, core services that the city provides. Um, and there's a, a dollar amount associated with that. And sometimes there, has, there are cost benefits and cost trade, trade offs mm -hmm. that, that we have to make as a community when we start having a conversation about what do we want city government to do Absolutely. in our communities. Um, and it's a conversation of values, it's a conversation about what do we value in our community and what we hold as core services that need to be provided by city government. Um, there'll be some conversations I'm sure coming up soon about mm -hmm. how we're setting priorities, how we're setting the conversations and setting the stages for, uh, for budgeting moving forward uh, but I thought it was very important for the community to understand just on the first on the front end what does it take just to okay. run city government so thank you mr. Thank you. that's the Eastward update I'm Derwin L Montgomery remember to leave your comments and questions below and we'll respond